Okay, never again will you be stuck for a rhythm guitar part to play over a shuffle next time you're at a blues jam after the following exercise, which I've just suddenly decided to call 11 by 12. And by that I mean we're going around the 12 bar shuffle progression 11 times, each time playing a different rhythm guitar part. They're all parts we've already looked at, parts you already know, and now it's time just to put them together. It'll be a great memory exercise, um, and uh, it just shows that we've covered a wealth of rhythm guitar ideas, so let's do it.
So 11 times around the 12 bar progression, 11 choruses. Um, it was a little rough around the edges on my part, performance wise, but um, I listened back to it and the vibe was there. It's all about the vibe. So I decided to keep it. Um, so uh, I just stuck to the neck pickup on the Strat, clean sound, um, didn't change sounds at all. Uh, start, started out with our stab ideas. Again, these are all ideas we've looked at. So um, it was just three, four. Um, that's what we started with. We moved on to our sliding ninths. One. Um, and then for the third chorus, we moved on to our... Um, kind of a... Kind of a mock uh, horn line part. And then we moved on to, I think, um, our kind of T-Bone Walker kind of jump blues, just playing on, on, the, uh, on the off beats. Three, four, one. Um, after that, it was, uh, I can't remember the exact rhythm, but just messing around with these, um, kind of organ lines. I, I call them organ lines. They kind of sound like a, a kind of Hammond. Uh, did that for 12 bars. And then we moved on to our Texas shuffle that we just looked at, the transposed version in A. Then uh, we went into our Chicago uh, downtown shuffle. I think it was downtown first. Uh, I've got some notes here, but I didn't stick to them. We have a, we have got a backing track to accompany this, um, and it does slightly. But the bass line changes um, for stuff like downtown shuffle and up uptown shuffle. But you can pretty much play what you want apart from that. So um, yeah, so we went downtown first. <laughs> Uh, the next chorus went uptown. And then I did a kind of uh, Texas variation on that. After that, we just went back to a, just a simple kind of march, you know, a simple uh, shuffle, these kind of stretch shapes we've been looking at. I mean, let's not neglect that. It works great. It's tried and tested. And then I did a variation on that, which is more of a kind of um, more of a kind of uh, kind of power shuffle. Uh. <laughs> got more of an aggressive feel. Um, the backing track actually goes around for 12 choruses. Um, I miscalculated and then ran out of ideas, but you can use that opportunity to go over another of the ideas. I mean, on, on the playthrough, I went back to, to our stabs, um, but you know, you can play a solo and it ends as well. So, you know, you can just end. Just got your typical blues ending. You can stick a turn around on the end. You can play a lick at the end. So it's a good one to play along with. Our backing track is about five minutes long. Um, I'll make a note of the order that I played them in and you can pretty much do what you like and it's just great rhythm guitar practice. If you've ever wanted to play the blues with all the emotion of your favorite guitarists or if you're keen to join in a jam night and just need a bit more confidence, Absolute Blues Guitar has you covered. We offer an immersive course and whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, we're committed to making an authentic blues guitarist out of you. Everything we teach is broken down note for note, written out in tab and standard notation and accompanied by high quality backing tracks. We give you all the tools you need to play classic blues and beyond. There really is nothing missing. So I hope you enjoyed this preview. Give it a like if you liked it hit subscribe and don't forget to go over to absoluteblueguitar.com where you can start earning some serious blues.